And this is our first one in the afternoon time slot. And that would be the Cardinals headed to L.A. against the Rams. Now, the Rams, a five-point favorite coming off that big win over the Tampa Bay Bucks last week. 54.5 is the total. A lot of points expected. A lot of points expected. And that is totally fine. The numbers are, are finally getting back up into the 50s, by the way. So it, it, the book's starting to catch up with everything now that we are four weeks in. Or I guess three weeks in, headed into week four. The Rams here, I wonder if there's a little bit of a hangover from last week. Like, can they continue to play at this level week in and week out? The Cardinals, fantastic offense. We know that Rams defense has been pretty good. How much did they put into last week? I think the Cardinals, because it is a division foe, because these two teams know each other so well, Cardinals have played really well to start off the season, too. And they're what? They're, both teams are 3-0? and Like, this is a massive, massive game. I, I think the Cardinals can keep this close. I think they can keep this within five points because I think there's a little bit of a hangover effect here. Cardinals, you know, got to go play Jacksonville last week. Now, <laughs> the Rams had to play the Bucks. I like I like the Cardinals here. I think Kyler Murray's playing really well now that he's healthy. So we're going to go ahead and head again on this one. One of these teams is not supposed to be undefeated, and the other one is. The one that is supposed to be undefeated is going to beat the other. The Rams are a better football team. The Cardinals are doing this with smoke and mirrors and luck, okay? They're still making bad decisions from a coaching perspective, and their players are just either bailing them out or the other teams that they're playing are bad enough to where they can't capitalize. All right, they beat up on the Vikings. They beat up on the Jags. Congratulations, and 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 all those teams they made tons of mistakes in the game. Those teams are just bad enough to not be able to do anything about those mistakes. Yeah, I can I can see where you're coming from. I I feel like I feel like the line was a little a little stinky. <laughs> it's just part of the reason why I'm going this direction. I just I, I feel like Arizona can keep this thing close. Arizona, by the way, against the Rams, won eight and one against the spread in their last ten. The last time that they covered against the Rams was 2017, like January of 2017. So I, that's why I feel like this line was a, a little a little tricky. Like it's a little stinky here. So I, I'm going to roll with the Cardinals. You know, don't feel great about it, but I think I think they got enough where they can actually. Because of the hangover effect and everything else, I think they can keep this thing at least within five points. I don't know that they'll win. I don't expect them to win. But either way, so you're rolling Rams minus five. I got Cardinals plus five. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.